Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague with Auto Jeff Reviews, and this is incredible. The 2025 Kia K4. If you're looking for an affordable sedan with good gas mileage, with great room and space inside, and it rides nice, think about the K4. It has three different trim levels, the LX, the LXS, that's this one right here, and the EX. They all range in price between $21,990, $22,990, and $23,990. So extremely affordable a very good value, I think we gotta find out more. When it's time to review a Kia, the first word that comes to my mind is value. It's loaded with technology, with safety, a great warranty, and usually great space in the back seat, which I see is the case here. Let's look in the front. It's simple, it's not overly complicated, easy to use, and full of technology. Plane, safe travels. This is really nice, two large screens. Isn't that a nice looking dash? This section's called Performance Fast Facts and we find out we have a very heavy hood. I can get my curls done here. <clears throat> so we can do a full exercise if we want. It's got a prop rod, but it's way out of the way so you don't even have to worry about it. That's nice. 2.0 liter four cylinder. Look for 147 horsepower and 132 pound feet of torque. It looks fantastic, plenty of room inside, but what's the gas mileage like? Well, first of all, the fuel doors on the driver's side, 12.4 gallon fuel tank, and look for on the top two trim levels, LXS and the EX, that's gonna be 29 in the city, 39 on the highway, 33 combined. If you go with the LX, that's gonna be just a tick more. It's gonna be 30 in the city, 40 on the highway, 34 combined. What about the ride comfort? Well, McPherson struts in the front, coupled torsion beam axle in the back, and then it has disc brakes in the front and the rear. Woo! 15 inches right here, 14 inches right here. Whoosh! That is awesome. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy, it's hot. This is actually a really cool front end. It's very simple, very tasteful, but there's a lot going on, as we'll see. Remember what Prince said, You've got the look, you've got the look, you've got the look. Well, that's what he used to say. And I think he was talking about the 25 Kia K5 when he sang that. Because look at this, this is good looking here. Reflector headlights, LED, of course. LED daytime running lights. We'll see the turn signal on the other side. Lots of matte black down here. Functional air. And then up here, a thinner strip, but it's got some silver accents. Kia badge, of course. And this is a wide, wide hood, isn't it? Remember, it's very heavy. That's got some substance, some chops to it. And then here's our crazy turn signal. Everybody's gonna know you're intending to turn. Now on the middle trim level, you're gonna see 16 inch alloy wheels. Very cool. It's got a little gloss to it, little reflector to it. These are 205-55R16. So on the LX, you're gonna see steel wheels with wheel covers. This one, 16 inch alloy wheels. On the EX, we're gonna find 17 inch alloy wheels. Thin fender treatments around the side and down below. I love this deep ocean blue color. Does not have turn signal indicators in the side mirrors. Blind spot indicator right there. See that with the triangle, see my face? All right, if you wanna unlock them with the key in your hand, push that. Push that. Look at this. Look at the lines as they go down here. It gets wider. So it's got that wide set. Really cool. I'll tell you what, this is a tremendous value. This would be a great first vehicle for somebody, a second vehicle. Maybe you just want a commuter car with great gas mileage. This would be the one to go for. Amazing. I think it's fantastic. So we got the plate lights, not plate lights, plate lights. That's how you open up the trunk. 14.6 cubic feet of space back here. Here's the backup camera. LED tail lights. Let's hop on in and back it up so you can see the lights as they back up. I'm gonna turn it on, go forward. See our LED tail lights. Our turn signal's in action. Love it. So let's back it up. What do you see? What do you notice? Get some flashers going here. See, that's a nice looking back end. A nice convenience feature, and you see this in some sedans here, the push pins, the pull pins, I should say, because you can lower the seats if you got something long in here, just lay them down, maybe skis. You go and skiing in the French Alps in your K4, now you can put those skis in. Those your skis? Yeah, both of them. 
name the movie. It's kind of interesting. I've got the door handle up above, so that's how I open it. Now this seat is all the way back. Let's listen to see how solid the door is. That's pretty solid. So 37.3 inches of rear seat headroom if you don't have a panoramic roof, which I don't, and then 38 inches of rear seat legroom. Again, this is with it all the way back. It's just a little bit tight, but you might expect that in a vehicle this size. And of course, not everybody's gonna sit all the way back. The seating is very comfortable. These cloth seats, you'll see. Try it for yourself. This one's a little bit firmer. And then we move over here. I got this medium back and it is medium back. Yep. So now I've got more room. And then here we go, plane. Look on in here, soft touch here for an armrest. I like the aluminum look. How far does these go down? Oh, almost all the way. That's pretty strong. Are there seat pockets? No, no seat pockets there. And there is no armrest that comes down here with cup holders, but you do have bottle holders in the back. I like this because you can hang a pocket on it. You see some Kias look that way as well. Easy to get to trial latches, they're right here, easily marked. The seating, again, is quite comfortable here. You can see it's got some give to it. I like the seating, and I do like the fact that it had USBs right here. I just wish that there was a place to put your cups in the back seat. Looks quite nice here, doesn't it? I would say so. Nice, spacious front interior cabin, soft touch. Again, this is not soft touch, and you probably wouldn't expect it on a vehicle this size. Bottle holder along with extra seat pocket, or door pocket, I should say. And then in here, nice big glove box, like that. The big dual screens all the way down. And I've got the backup camera showing right here. It's very clear, so I like the clarity of that. These are easy to use. I like this look, how it looks like it's in sync it evolves it flows all the way across everything's easily marked easy to figure out nothing confusing about this one here and then this will be for the pumping 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 you can pump your seat up we are here to pump you up so look at this comfortable 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 i like that and plain So now look in here and we've got, ooh, we embrace the planes right by the airstrip. Raleigh Durham Airport, good place for storage like my microphones. Push this, if it says push, you're gonna push it. So now we can put them back in. So this is for bigger cups and smaller cups. I like that a lot. Auto brake hold, that's nice. Here's for the backup camera. We've got USB connectivity along with 12 volt circular port. See it says push push it this is not wireless charging but you can get that on the ex but it is a big space to put things like phones so in here soft touch not soft touch bottle openings and then easy to get the seat pumped up nice looking front end here plain Safe travels. Nice squishy bottom here. So it's a good look. Let's test out the horn. See, that's powerful. That's got some meat to it. And then this is a flat bottom steering wheel. It's very unusual. I looked at it, I was like, boy, that is different. That is really different. Control should be pretty easy to figure out here. Let's take a look. Even though it looks bigger, the customizable part is four inch display. We can go across and look at some information that might be helpful to us. Our safety features, excellent. We're gonna look at all the safety features when we get to the window sticker. This is a 12.3 inch display. I love the Kia multimedia system. I think it's easy to use. It looks kind of retro modern, if that makes sense. So we could do things like setup, and then look at all the choices. Things you can see, things you can customize, things you can make your own. Driver assistance features. We've got the smart cruise control, climate, lights, High beam assist, I like that. The, two, the old two press unlock technique, convenience. What do you wanna use here? So driving safety, forward safety, lane safety, blind spot safety, safe exit. That'll help you if you're going to get out and maybe the coast isn't as clear as you thought. It'll alert you. 
inattentive driving warning. Yeah, a lot of us need that, I think. Oops, I gotta turn that one back on. But see how easy it is to do? I'm glad I did that. And then your speed limit indicator, speed limit assist, speed limit offset. So many things that you can customize. Yeah, I'm on Beatles channel, Bob Marley channel. I love it. So we can flip here. Real love. Okay, excellent. Bob Marley. Look at that. So you can scroll. You can get your Sirius XM going. You can swipe. And it's very easy. It's not difficult at all. They swing super simple. Do we want music? Yeah. I want pop. I want to rock. Rock. Then why didn't you select rock, Jeff? Phil Collins? Don't lose my number because you're not anywhere and I can't find you. Oh, no. So this has the manual dimmer right here. And then what about our lighting? Let's see. Light on. Fantastic Four. Flame on. Very good. Our SOS button here. What about lights? No lights on this one. That would be nice for the passenger. And it does not have a slider function, although it goes mostly across. Now it's time for a visibility check. I'd say the windshield is good. Windows are nice. I like the little cutout of that window back there. And then the back seat. If I don't have back seat passengers ever, I'm taking off those headrests so I can see even better. But overall, it's good. Oblique handles right there. Back, front. It's a fantastic looking dash and a great value for the price that it is. I want you to know, I did not mangle this window sticker. It was already like this. Remember, it's at Fred Anderson Kia. Go to KiaOfRaleigh.com. So it's deep sea blue. I think I said deep ocean blue. It's deep sea blue with medium gray interior. This is the LXS feature. So that's the middle one. They show you what's standard on the entry level, the LX. Look at all the safety features here. 12.3 inch touchscreen all the way across the board. See, that's nice. Very cool. Now, what do we get if we upgrade for $1,000 more? You get the alloy wheels versus the steel wheels, the drive mode select, blind spot collision, avoidance, assist. Yeah, rear cross traffic collision, avoidance, assist, safe exit warning in the 60-40 split rear seats. Helicopter. So instead of $21,990 on the LX, it's $22,990. Remember, EX is $23,990. We've got some mats, and then we got delivery. So it puts it at $24,320, which is very reasonable these days. Look at this, the gas mileage. Remember, you can go up just a little bit if you get the LX. Safety ratings, as you'd expect, aren't on a brand, brand new vehicle. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. What do you think about the all-new Kia K4? I think it's a great, tremendous value, and I'm curious to see what you guys think of it as well. Leave a comment. Say hi. Let me know what you think about this one. How about that color? Woo, that is hot. I love dark blue cars, especially ones that pop. All right, I'm at Auto Jeff Reviews Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and Facebook, and I hope you follow me there for fun, thorough reviews. Peace. If you want more Kia content, then click the Kia playlist right there. I've also got playlists broken down by brand. So if you like BMW, Mercedes, Honda, Hyundai, Toyota, Lexus, just click away and you'll find what you're looking for. Plane. See you guys next time. Holla.